everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be sewing our twist front swimsuit. At this stage I still don't have the name for this pattern, but once this is released it will have a name as all our patterns and it will be available on our store at bikinidesignclub.com. So I actually already have one uh, tutorial on how to make, how to sew this swimsuit but today I'm going to use an entirely completely different method. I'm actually going to uh, cut the top and the front bottom uh, like if they were one piece, so like this, if they were uh, attached here. So instead of two pieces it will be only one piece and I will show you why. And on my other tutorial I have this sewn as almost like a reversible but this time I will use white lining so it will be completely non-reversible pattern so with my white lining and then half of the swimsuit will be with this amazing fabric and half will be in yellow. This fabric is actually, um, I bought the pattern and I can produce a certain amount of meters of this fabric with the pattern. So it, it's on, on sale now uh, on our store under kits. So you can buy the, the fabric from us if you want to. And uh, so today this is actually the same tutorial but with a different method, completely different method. So, um, keep up because even the twist the the way I twist the front it's different so let's start by cutting the fabrics first I'm gonna cut half on this pattern half on this for the front the same for the back and then I'm gonna cut the lining for both sides in white so to start this time what I did I started with uh, a little bit of tape and I taped um, on the seam allowances on the top and the bottom front and I taped the two pieces of the pattern because I'm going to cut this as a one piece for the front for both fabrics and for lining. I've, I've placed my fabrics right sides facing together one on top of the other and I'm gonna cut the two fronts in one, uh, in one cut in one time. So I've just pinned uh, the pattern to the fabrics to make sure that this doesn't slide and now I'm just going to cut and then we can do the same for the lining. So uh, when you have a pattern with a print uh, you should take into consideration that if you want to align the print between the, uh, the pieces of the pattern uh, I have here already the back top piece it will be like this on the back so if I want to match these two together on the fabric, on the print of the fabric I have to make sure that I cut them matching um, the, the prints. So I have to uh, go and play around here with, of course this is not very good if you want to save some some fabric because for sure you will spend more fabric like this but for instance I have a line this here and now I, I, I need to remember that I have my seam allowance so my seam allowance will be here so I have to overlap this half a centimeter here 8, 0 .8, 0.8 my seam allowance here and it will be okay and now I can secure my I can secure this so I know that it stays where I want it to be and now I can cut my lower part. On the other side it's not a big deal because it's yellow and it's plain so no problem but on this side I really wanted to match the top and the bottom part of my swimsuit. So now we have here our front for both sides. I've already pinned the top strap on both sides with right sides facing together of course we also have our back for this side, also right sides uh, matching on the, on the seam here. I will see if I need to leave it like that. I've just pinned to make sure that it was okay, but you also have here the bottom and the top part of your back for this side. This is for this side, for the yellow. 
Then I have the same pieces uh, with the lining fabric and my two lining fabrics here cut it also. Uh, to align the strap you will have letters on top of your pattern and you will have letters also on the, um, on the strap so you just need to match uh, the letters and on the pattern on the fabric and pin right sides facing together like I've done here. So on my lining, on my lining, whoa, on my lining, since I will be, uh, I will want my dart, my seams to be facing the fabric. Uh, if I have this one, it will be on this side. I know that my seams will be made on this side. So I can fold this here and prepare to sew the darts. So I fold this one like this. It will be facing this. As you can see on this side, I will do like this and also pin. Okay, so I have my both my sides, lining and fabric. And now I need to place my uh, strap. As I told you, you will have uh, letters on the pattern and here is my front CD CD so this will be like this okay but since I'm doing this side of the pattern right this is the correct position for my strap I want my seam on this side so let me think yeah, so I need to put, place it here and I'm going to pin oh, and once this is sewn, it, the seam will be facing the other fabric and not my body. So you can prepare the top straps for both sides uh, and also the darts for all of them and then we'll be back. So let's pin. So now we can go ahead and sew all the areas that we have just pinned. So I now have my front pieces um, on the, already with the strap attached and the dart ready. And on the pattern you will see a line, uh, you will see a marking, a notch. Uh, you, and we need to mark an horizontal line over here until that uh, li until that line and we will cut this entire area and stop at the line and we need to do this here for both pieces and also for the lining this is actually something that I've changed from the last uh, video so if you see the tutorial where you have this same swimsuit but in, in red and pink the difference is that here in the middle where the pattern will cross uh, I thought that the cross was very discreet and small and I wanted to make it a little bit uh, bigger and bulkier so I decided to um, make the, the, the center se uh, uh, part where it's uh, going to cross bigger. So this means this is a little bit different from the previous pattern and this will be my final version on the pattern. So the measurements that we have here are different from the ones we have on the other tutorial. If you if you see the, the center it will be uh, 4 cm uh, from the, the seam. So if I do 4.8 because my seam is 8, if I do 4.8 and this ruler is very good because it helps you see where is the 4.8 so it's here I can actually if I want I can I can actually mark on my pattern exactly where I want to stop cutting so I marked small dot there and now I'm going to place two layers of fabric and I will cut uh, in one go because it's easier for me using the ruler and then I will do the same for the lining. So I've just used my my um, 
line from my patterns to mark the beginning and the end of the cut, uh, the beginning and the end, so that I have the, the correct direction. And now I just need to align with the dot and I will cut from the edge until the dot. And this is it. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to take this. This is just to align the fabrics. Now I'm going to do exactly the same on the lining. We now have here our two fronts with this sliced uh, side. And for the lining, I actually cut it exactly on the same way. But then I was thinking, I was thinking about the, the construction methods. How am I going to do this? And so I decided that for the lining, I will actually uh, cut the entire piece uh, until the end. Uh, this is actually, I think it will be okay because since this is an unreversible and we will um, do another stitch on the top part center, just like I did on the other tutorial, um, we all, always, uh, it's always good for us if you, we have the lining a little bit smaller than the main fabric. So I, I'm not going to worry about not having the seam allowance here because it's okay for me to have the lining a little bit smaller than my uh, main fabric. So I think we will be okay uh, if we do this that I'm telling you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the entire and separate the lower from the top and now this is something I'm going to do for both sides. I'm going to align my front for both sides. And with right sides facing together, like so, I'm going to pin all the cleavage, all the neckline, and the strap. So aligning here, we will pin all this area until the ends on both sides and we will sew this and also do a understitch. Okay, so uh, since this is the neckline, we will be applying elastic. I will apply my 8mm wide elastic uh, from the beginning until the end of my um, sewing because this is the neckline and the strap uh, and uh, today I will be using threads um, that I really love because they are very thin and very comfortable and elastic also so if uh, I have some areas of my swimsuit where they will be in contact with my body they are very soft and so I really like them. As you can see here, they, you see, this is usually used in lingerie, but also on non-reversible swimwear. This is 100 polyester. And in my case, I'm using Seraph Lock from Metler. I will uh, place a link down below. So if you wanna visit the website and take a look, you can. So now let's just sew applying the elastic on the side of the lining. Uh, from the beginning until the end. So as you can see, we have now attached our elastic. I gave some tension a little bit uh, while I was doing the neckline and I flattened the seams on the shoulder area on both sides and I, of course we will do the same on the other side. And now let's just repeat the, the process to, um, let's just repeat the process for the other side. So now that we have done the same to the other side, uh, we will do another stitch. It's a stitch that we will make with our seam towards the lining side, so like so. We will put the seam to the lining side and we will go over to the sewing machine and we have two options. We can do a cover stitch here uh, along all this securing the lining to the elastic or we can go and do a zigzag stitch it's also not going to be visible we can also do this with a zigzag 
Today I'm gonna use the zigzag stitch. On the other tutorial that I've done with this swimsuit, I've actually used a cover stitch. So you can see the cover stitch option if you want on that video. I actually did the mistake because I should have uh, placed my elastic on the, the outside fabric facing up on my machine and not the opposite as I did here. I applied the elastic with my lining facing up. <laughs> this is something that you do in your second fabric when you are doing re reversibles and so it's very easy to mistake when you are doing uh, so many times reversibles and then non-reversibles and so on. So when you do this please place the elastic uh, with your main fabric facing up because what will happen here if I do the zigzag over here once this is going to the other side you will see a little bit of um, uh, lining sticking out so and I don't want this I don't want this to be seen on my on my swimsuit so now I have to figure out how to solve it um, and this is also because my my threads it's a 0 0.5 centimeters and my elastic is 8 so actually the, the difference that you are seeing on these sides is exactly the millimeters that the elastic sticks out okay I, I think I, I explained this uh, before but I hope uh, it helped so now I'm gonna figure out how to make this look proper and beautiful so when we placed our lining on top of our main fabric right sides facing together and we sewed the entire area I actually made a mistake as you have just seen on the previous clips because I placed the elastic on my lining and in this case on a non-reversible I should have placed my elastic on the side of my main fabric so this means I had to cut the excess uh, elastic that is cut sticking out of my thread. I really don't want you to do this so make sure I'm gonna insert this clip in the middle of uh, also before I, I saw this so I'm sure that you will not do exactly this, this mistake so please sew your elastic on the side of your with your main fabric facing up your, on your machine so the elastic will be on this side. This will allow you when we are now going to the sewing machine to do the under stitch it will allow you to fold the, the seam towards the lining and do a cover stitch or a zigzag stitch all along this area on the edge of the, of the lining and this will make, make it will make it possible when you have your swimsuit on you will not see the lining okay this will not be perfect because I had to figure out the solution I had to cut the elastic but I'm sure that um, if you uh, are seeing the entire video you will not do this mistake that I did so I really want to show you in detail what I'm talking about regarding the understitch and regarding the finishes so if you see here this is one of uh, our patterns if you see here and this is the neckline I've actually used uh, two different threads so you can see that even you can see uh, in detail the difference in the color of the threads um, this is on purpose I wanted to try and see how each uh, thread would work and uh, as you can see you will not see the um, the lining of this swimsuit it is very stable and it was it's very perfect on the on the reverse side you can see that uh, the finish is just the the cover stitch that I did on my overlock because my overlock is also my uh, cover stitch so you can see in front it's like this and on the back it's like this and as you can see here the elastic is sticking out a bit just like I told you in a, uh, on a few moments ago because I placed the elastic on my main fabric side so this is the perfect result okay then I also want to show you another option. So this is exactly the same pattern of the purple one I've just shown you. But the difference is that on the front I didn't overlap the two patterns and on the other one I did. So it looks quite different, but it's the same pattern. You can do it differently if you want. It's the coral pattern if you want to see. Well, on the neckline, as you can see, I did a zigzag stitch, so I didn't use my cover stitch. I just did a, a zigzag stitch with my straight stitch machine 
but again if you if you look inside you will see that i've sewn with the overlock the lining to the main fabric applying the elastic on the sides of my main fabric and then i simply placed on the correct side and did the zigzag stitch so i i know that this will stay exactly where i want on my body once this is um on so uh, i've now showed you two different ways of doing this the other way is with an understitch i'm gonna show you because the the, the goal of the understitch is for you not to do neither a zigzag neither a cover stitch so you will not see anything here but if you look inside you will see two cover stitches or a zigzag inside but not on the outside i'm going to show you in one sec so this is actually the same pattern that I, we are doing the tutorial now but as i told you i want this to be much bulkier so i changed the pattern in this area and as you can see here i didn't i used the same fabric for the insides for the lining and for the outside and it, you can do it because it fits uh, very well on the leg i used my cover stitch so it's it looks very nice and well finished i think and then here on the neckline you can see these two cover stitches well but you will not see once the swimsuit is on because they were done as you can see this will be like this on your body like so so the cover stitch was made inside with the seam facing the lining in this case it's the same color but it's facing the lining and then i just uh, did the cover stitch uh, this is very nice and it will not be seen once the swimsuit is on so this is another option that you have to finish your neckline so as i really want to hide um this mistake that i that i made i'm going to go ahead and do a cover stitch here or a zigzag stitch so you will see the threads on this option but as i just shown you you can do one of the other options um, that i've just shown you that will also be very beautiful i've just uh, sewn with the zigzag along here as i told you uh, so the, my attempt today is my lining not to be showing I can already tell you that I pulled the fabric when I shouldn't a little bit because it, this wavy hair area over here, I can actually realize that I pulled the fabric when I was sewing. This is not good, but let's see how this turns. So our top stitch is done and now we will use this cut here and we will do like this. Okay, now we need to sew these two pieces, right sides facing together and the center seam, right sides facing together. So let's start by doing the center seam. So the first thing we are going to do, fold your fabric like this and place your center seam, right sides facing together. Then grab your lining, align them also right sides facing together if you want you can go to your sewing machine or uh, do some hand stitch just to make sure that the, the fabric is very very well aligned and then we will place the two lining pieces aligned like so let me just twist this because it's good it's better for me to pin so I'm just going just to make sure that this is properly aligned I'm just going to pin a little bit here on my lining aligning the, the seams and now with these two aligned together I'm gonna align like so the four of them okay so I'm gonna do one by one so the yellow This will make the seam that we are going to sew, so we are going to sew over four layers of fabric and that seam is going to be hidden inside the lining, so it will not be in contact with our skin. So as you can see, we now have our four layers of fabric. 
okay so we just need to, to go to the overlock and without applying elastic sew the entire area that we have just pinned so let's sew over the four layers of fabric without elastic so we have now sewn the center seam over the four layers and when we open the fabrics like so you'll see that our center seam is done and on the the lining side it's also done and so they are all secure on the center okay now we need to do the uh, top with the bottom I had just been here to help me well never mind if this is untwisted like it was mine like so okay because then you just need to twist them again okay and place them on the right position again okay now we, d we just need to sew the top to the bottom in this area. So let's align right sides facing together. This time we will need to do first the outer fabric and then the lining. So just fold your fabric, align your outer fabric, right sides facing together, pin on both sides and sew. And then we will do exactly the same for the lining making sure that we are uh, pinning the correct side of the lining so the seam will be towards our outer fabric. When we are sewing over this area we just need to make sure that we go the, the closest to the other fabric as we can leaving just a small hole for the fabric to go in okay so just go ahead if you feel like you should do this with your straight stitch here in the end no problem just use your overlock and then when you are reaching this fabric just go with the straight stitch and secure the hole uh, don't apply elastic and that's it so let's sew our center as I told you just a, a few moments ago main fabrics and lining So I have just used my overlock to do the main area of my seam and then I used my straight stitch machine to do this part here on the center. So, so now I know that this will be secure. So now we just need to open this and let's prepare to do the back. So right sides facing together on your main pieces, this one and this one. So just place right sides facing together, do the same for the lining and uh, sew this center seam. This will not have elastic, so it's just go ahead to the overlock and uh, sew both areas, main fabrics, linings. So now we will sew right sides facing together once for the main fabric and then the same for the lining. Now that we have right sides facing together for the main fabric, we can leave the, the front um, lining, also align it. I will pin these two fabrics to the lining, so we will have three layers and we will also pin the back. So once your lining is also attached here, you will place right sides facing together lining and lining also align the center and the hip like so we will pin and so we will be sewing over two layers of the main fabric and two layers of lining and we will sew over the sides with no elastic and we will repeat the process on this side and also on this one. So 
So this is all uh, ready, uh, but I've just decided to change something. Uh, for my uh, strap and for my under the arm uh, seam, I want this to be um, sewed uh, on the inside, so like if it was a reversible. So I need to match right sides facing together, like so. It's not hard, so we just need to fold the fabric so the right sides are facing together and we can pin of course and we will sandwich the the rest of the swimsuit inside here because we just need to do this until this area under the arm where it will intersect the the back so we just need to take some pins here put this inside place right sides facing together and mark until where we want to sew our strap. So to make this easier I'm just going to mark where my uh, back is meeting my front and I'm, go I'm going to do the same on my lining fabric and I'm going to do the same on this one. So here and here and now let's just unpin two pins from the top here and fold these right sides facing together from the top until here as I told you pin everything and sew on our overlock this time we will apply the elastic on our main fabric sides so place the main fabric on top when you go to your sewing machine So our strap is already pinned until the area that we have marked. So uh, place the outer fabric facing up on your machine and apply the elastic on that side. Do the same for both straps. So remember we had our side seams ready, but then I removed some pins so that we can could do the straps. So the straps are done. Okay. So I'm going to place them to the right side. Both of them and then we can align the side until the end as we had done before pin and sew. So let's sew our four layers on both sides. So we now have our two fronts and our two backs uh, sewn with the sides uh, seams made uh, and we are just missing the center and the leg holes and, and here. Well uh, I was thinking that for here and I had this a little bit longer and I cut it and I shouldn't have cut it because uh, we will actually sew this and then fold and uh, do a top stitch so I, I'm now missing the little bit that I had here and I shouldn't have cut it but if uh, you have it don't cut it because we can sew the, the this seam with the elastic and then fold and do a top stitch okay in the end but this is the last thing so now we need to place right sides facing together like so okay and we will place this on top of our lining like so and then this side of the lining is going underneath so we will roll the swimsuit and bring this to the other side so we now have two lining pieces right sides facing together and the two main fabrics right sides facing together now we just need to align the center back from the top until the bottom and sew over the four layers of fabric We have a Facebook group that it's only for our patterns, for questions, 
and for you to be able to share your experiences with us. So if you still um, haven't joined, please do so because uh, when we do updates on the patterns, etc., we always share on the group that uh, which are the changes. So it's always nice to to be a part of the community of the club so that we can all exchange ideas. Uh, now I'm just pinning layer by layer because it's easier for me to make sure that uh, the layers are all aligned. And that's why I was doing, if you, was, if you were looking at the video, uh, you, were, you saw me doing layer by layer. So this is the last layer of fabric that I want to pin and then I will be ready to go to my sewing machine and uh, without elastic because this is a vertical seam I will also and the end it's the center back seam I will uh, sew from the beginning until the top from the, the the lower part from the crotch until the center back top so we are ready let's go so we have done our center seam center back seam. Now we just pull this all to the right side. Okay, and we are just missing the crotch area and the leg hole and also the top back part. So let me think what we can do first. Probably here. Well, if you want, let me place the, the, this to the right side. Like so. Um, if we want to uh, have our straps, they were drafted so that we can have them like so. Okay? And they can be sewn to the lower parts of the top here. And this will work perfectly. But you can decide if you want to do this with this option or if you want to actually leave the straps and tie them over your neck of course if you tie them over your neck you should do a finish here on the on the strap because you don't like it we, we don't like to see this of course as a finish and we would have uh, made a beautiful finish here to tie a knot behind your neck if not we will attach them here uh, I actually can do this um, in the end after all my swimsuit is ready and done. So I'm not going to go and do the straps now. Uh, you can also do a top stitch as we did here. We can do a top stitch on the outer part of the, of the strap and under the arm. Okay, but in this case I'm not going to, but you can easily do it. And as you can see, here we had that problem that was caused by me placing the elastic on the wrong side. But as you can see on this side, I placed the elastic on the correct side, on the main fabric side. So if I want to do a top stitch, I, uh, it will be very easy for me to just uh, uh, flat, flatten the fabric and go to the sewing machine and do a top stitch here. I'm not going to do it, but as I told you, you can do it if you want to. Uh, so for the back, uh, center back, uh, we will just uh, fold the fabric. We will sew an elastic first and then we will just fold and do a top stitch. So the elastic will be placed um, on the on the lining side so I'm going to reverse the swimsuit and we can pin but this is actually sewn together so it's the center is already in place but we can pin here and here and then we can go to our sewing machine and apply the elastic I'm going to apply a thin elastic probably a six millimeter wide elastic instead of my eight millimeter because as I told you I cut it the excess that I had here and now I almost have no room to do the fold without uh, with perfection so I'm actually going to be using a very thin elastic let's go
now that we have top stitched uh, now that we have applied the elastic we just need to fold the fabric go to our zigzag machine or the top stitch if you want and do a zigzag on the entire back now that the zigzag stitch is done on our back and as you can see here in the corner it actually looks fine the finish here I'm gonna show on the other side so if you want it you could have uh, go ahead and continue with the zigzag stitch until the end of your strap and this would be a zigzag stitch continuously and your strap will have zigzags on both sides but as I told you as a personal choice I decided to stop here and I didn't uh, continue the zigzag so now we will do the leg holes and crotch area so the leg the crotch area it's the first area we are going to sew we now have a slight small problem is that since we have sewn all the uh, layers together here and here what I would do I would place right sides facing together like so and I would do the same for the lining and I would sew the, the, the two layers and it would be okay but in this case if I do this and I sew here we will have a seam showing so I have to think how I'm gonna sort this out so I'm gonna take a second to think about it and I'll be back yeah I sort it out I'm going to unpick this uh, this uh, small ends of our sewing and I'm gonna remove the threads and this will allow me to align the fabrics as I was telling you so right sides facing together both lining and main fabric and uh, that way we will not have any seam here of course facing our body we don't want that so let's just remove one centimeter or less from the seam and then we, we will be able to uh, place right sides facing together on the main fabric and on the lining do this for the front and for the back so now using this small bit that I've removed the sewing we just need to place right sides facing together both for the lining and for the outer fabric so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my outer fabric and if I want to face them together I need to just fold them like this and align them I'm gonna pin very carefully and I'm going to my sewing machine and keeping the fold of the original sewing I'm just going to sew over the crotch area only with two fabrics together the main fabrics not the lining I'm gonna use my straight stitch machine because it's more accurate and this is a very small seam so to feel more comfortable I'm gonna use my straight stitch machine I'm just going to pin the lining here so that it doesn't get in the way and the same on the back just to make sure it doesn't get in the way okay and now with the right sides facing together just go to your sewing machine and sew over the two layers of fabric I even feel more comfortable if I can do a hand stitch here to make sure that this stays exactly where I want my center seam from the outer fabric so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some stitches by hand here to make sure that this stays where I want but if you feel secure on going directly to your sewing machine just go ahead this is actually one of the patterns that takes me longer to sew it's a complex pattern with a specific method of sewing and so this is not for beginners I think I think you should have a little bit of experience doing swimsuits before you would venture to this one so now I'm just going to the sewing machine straight ahead here with the two layers of fabric and then we will do the lining so as you can see I used my zigzag stitch to 
uh, sew my crotch area with my two fabrics uh, together. I'm, I'm then going to trim the excess fabric here so this is not a bulky area. And now I can remove my pins and place the, do exactly the same that we did for the main fabric for the lining with right sides facing together again. So there is for sure another and better way to do this but uh, well this is what we have now and I have to figure out so I'm gonna I'm gonna sew half each time okay aligning this half with this half right sides facing together and then the other one and probably I do some hand stitch and then I go to my so, uh, straight stitch machine and do some zigzags because I think this, that's the only way where I will be able to sew these two together without any seam allowance showing so I'm gonna find a way to place right sides facing together half first and then the, the other half so I know that this is not an easy task I know that probably there's a better way to do this um, if you want you can see the other method that I used to sew this swimsuit is completely different than this one so if you prefer to use the other one I, th I think I will still love the way that I did this one but if you prefer the other one you have another option so I'm gonna go ahead and um, sew half and then I'm gonna do exactly the same and sew the other half so here it is the lining side there's a small hole here in the middle so we can do some stitches uh, and hide our stitch uh, inside so it's just a small bit if you want this to be perfect just use a white thread and do a small stitch here in the middle and then on the outside it's also sewed so now we are just missing the straps in the back but that's the, the last part we are missing the leg holes so with your lining sides facing out we will place an elastic and sew all around our leg holes we will do this on both leg holes and then we will do a small fold for the for after applying the elastic we will just fold the fabric and we use a zigzag stitch to sew all around the leg and our legs will be ready so it, this is very simple we just pin the entire leg hole right uh, the the fabrics aligned and that's it we go to the sewing machine and apply the elastic um, all around the leg hole so on the leg hole I always start uh, sewing on the crotch area so that uh, it's where the elastic is going to begin and also finish so our leg holes are ready now we just need to fold the f uh, fold the entire leg hole like so and so um, a zigzag stitch as we already did uh, in this swimsuit so just fold the fabric and do a zigzag stitch all around the two leg holes and then we will just need to secure the straps on the back and it will be ready